Sabah hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to review Skit. This is by far the most powerful application manager you can install on your device. You can go in and see applications that you've installed, applications that are installed in the system partition, but not only that, you can actually extract, do some more research and see all the permissions, all the certificates, all of the things that each application on your phone is doing. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're always notified whenever we put out new videos on the channel. The application we're talking about today is called Skit. You can download it directly from the Google Play Store or the link that I'll have for you guys in the description below. Uh, once you open it up, there's a couple of permissions you need to provide it. And other than that, it, this is literally going to be the best application manager you can use at this point. You're greeted directly into the Applications tab that has two sections, one user, one system. So user will be basically the applications you installed. System will be the applications that are installed on your phone when you first got it out of the box. And of course, update it to the latest Android or OTA that you received on your phone. So if there's any updates, all of these things will happen. Uh, unfortunately, this does not allow us to update it since this is not the actual Play Store. But what you really can do here specifically within these two tabs, let's say you want to look at, in, in, the same, in this example, we'll use Fortnite. You want to get some more information about it. You're able to see basically the permissions, all the permissions that this application is requesting. You can go into activities and you can go to all the different tabs and check them out and see what they're doing. You can also go under services, same thing. As last but not least, you can go under certificate if it has actually been provided by the developer. One of the things you want to keep in mind is that this application has to be side loaded to your phone, which means you don't necessarily download it from the Google Play Store. And what I mean by that, if we go down here, you'll notice there's an additional option when we click the blue button, we can open it. We can extract it, meaning we can actually take out the APK. And it does give us some information about it here. It's 102 megabyte APK, and it is targeted for Android 5.0 or later. So if you're running Android 5 or 4.0 or anything before 5, unfortunately, this application won't work for you. But the other thing we can also do is find it in the Google Play Store if it was originally there. And as you can see, we don't have that there. So we would definitely want to be able to share this or transfer it to a new phone as, again, it will need to be side loaded there as well. Uh, last but not least, you can just do that here. You can either extract it directly, it'll save it to a local folder on your phone, or you can save it, well, share it by either emailing it if the package is small enough, so this one won't work. You can also send it by Bluetooth or Android Beam, or of course, save it to Drive to be able to share the link over to your new device. Very nice and very functional. But as we know, Fortnite is not the actual application you share, you always share the installer. So, and again, let's say I do get a new phone and I wanna transfer this, I'll go down here. I'll go ahead and say share. Now this one is a four megabyte file as you guys saw right there at the bottom. So all I have to say is share and I can actually say in there and initiate a Gmail email, send it to my new phone, download it, install it, and then get my Fortnite games running perfectly fine. Now, again, all of this will work pretty much the same if you have them on the system side, if you wanna be able to extract something and send it to somebody or try it on a new phone, very, very nice. Now, as far as the analytics, this just kind of goes into your device. So it tells you I'm running Android 9.0, obviously the latest security patch update as of March 1st. This is the OnePlus 6T, McLaren edition. Um, now I am not rooted and I don't have BusyBox, but if I did have root and installed BusyBox, it will also give me that information. Uh, total applications installed, user and a system level. And of course, just tells you overall my entire system level information. Under the other tab is where you can find out some more information about the Skit Premium options. And this is available through the Play Store. Again, both the standard and the premium are available. What I'm showing you today is the standard version, the free version. Uh, you can send feedback, uh, application hub, of course, settings and about Skit. We can go into the settings. Uh, there is a themes option, but it is available only on premium. You can set up the accent color and you can reset it. Uh, analytics, the same thing. You can dedicate it by either megabytes or gigabytes. It's just to your preference. Uh, applications are pretty much what it is. It sorts them either by name and you can change it by package name. Um, hide skit if you don't want to show it directly into your device and reset to default. Uh, applications detail, you can just go in there, hide un uh, undetected as well as clear cache, memory and other. Very simple. And then of course here, just change log libraries and all the information that you'd like to know about the Skit application. One of the main reasons Skit is very functional for me is it does a couple of things that other applications don't do. A, it gives us the ability to actually extract applications from our device. There's been many times when, let's say, certain applications stop working on or they basically get pulled from the Play Store and you have that application installed on a phone that you have, but you can't transfer it to the new one because you can't download it. Well, this is where Skid becomes very functional. You can share it, email it to yourself or send it to Google Drive and then download it on your new phone and then your applications will still work. As long as it actually doesn't stop supporting it directly from the actual developer, you should be pretty good. I've seen different applications do that in the past. And of course, the main thing you want to do is always try to go find the application. This way you can actually take this application, back it up, put it in a folder on your phone, or again, like I said, put it on Google Drive and then download it whenever you want on your new device. 
Uh, very, very cool application. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. This should work on almost any device that's on the market. It does not actually modify your device. It is basically reading what's already on it. Uh, now you can uninstall applications with it, but you cannot install them. So that's one thing you wanna keep in mind. And the example that I showed you with Fortnite is going to be the best example I've ever used. Essentially, it's just basically transfer the installer from your old phone to your new phone, download Fortnite and play it. And as long as it's compatible, as we saw with the actual installer, that we actually need to have Android 5.0 or later, otherwise Fortnite won't work. This is TK, thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual, and I'll see you guys in the next video.